Hello YouTube. I know I look like Aunt Jemima, but I have to redeem myself from my last post. And Miss Deja wants to say hi. Hi. <laughs> so I went off about the white people asking me about the Gatorade. And I want to apologize because my anger shouldn't have allowed me to chase anyone. But it is disturbing to me because we're constantly, constantly trying to ease the conversation about race with black people. And we can't seem to do that. I'm tired of people dying when we can do things as precautions to prevent that from happening. We can, Any little bit of ignorance is not okay because these people have organizations. They have groups. So when you see one of them, it's really a hundred more of them somewhere else organized, coming to our communities, destroying our communities, committing killing our people and it's ignored and we want to pretend like it doesn't exist we are living in a war whether you like it or not whether you agree with it or not this is a war every day anytime you get up and people are dying at a rapid pace like the stock market this is a war anytime you go to work and it's documented that we are unequally paid and that's the law this is a war anytime the first amendment allows hate crime to go on this is a a war so yes I am human and I run an organization where everyone is human and it will never be okay it will never be okay for anyone to disrespect myself or anyone who looks like me because that is the start of this process we need to demand respect the nigger word kill it like even for us I, I, I've had a video about it I just educated on the difference on how it's used, but it's better words that we can use with each other. Good God Almighty, love and hip hop, all of that foolishness has destroyed our minds and our sense to act like adults. We can't even communicate with each other without putting our hands on each other. What is it? Throwing drinks on each other. We having all these children by these different men. That shows no sense of hope. When you have young girls who grew up into women, what do you think they are going to identify love as? Sex, like everybody's doing now. You teaching these kids that sex is love when it's not. We have to take some ownership. These people feel like it's okay to pick on us because we don't care about ourselves. And starting today, we need to care about ourselves. Care about that child outside. You don't know what people are going through down to these children. It is real out here. That is why the crime is spiking. What would you do if you didn't eat for three days and you don't have anywhere to sleep and you sleeping in an apartment building and you are 13 years old? Please tell me what your mom would tell you to do. Go. I, I'm waiting. Okay, your mind is not thinking, number one. So you're not logically going to think. You're going to do whatever you need to do to eat. So we have children in that situation. We have young adults in that situation. We know that the system is built to just destroy us but we have education we work in places where we really can help each other these places would not run if we weren't there the mexicans had a protest day where they didn't show up and guess what when they demanded they asked for it. if we try it one day i guarantee you exelon energy care first blue cross and blue shield pro metric K, uh, what's the other one? Comcast. All these major companies. If black people decided one day to get up and not go to work, I guarantee you, whatever pay you demand and benefits and jobs, I bet you you have it because they can't operate without you. So that is where my anger came from. I will do better with that. But I really need you to pay attention to the ignorance in the world and nip it in the bud because the more we ignore this, the worse it gets. We've already ignored the hit and runs and they're out of control. The white boy admitted that he, he was outside looking to hit a nigga. I've been saying that for over a year that that's who's doing it. We need more people monitoring our communities. It's not okay for these people to come in our communities and live and mess with us and destroy us because the police are on their side. We need more more leadership we need more people that's going to step up and roll up their sleeves and deal with the hard work to get this stuff done because it's not going to go away by itself